All right, what's going on, dudes, and welcome back to uh, to Minecraft. Sorry, I almost forgot what game we were playing here with these graphics. We're back with more of Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders because they've been updated again, and now they're even more amazing than they already were. So I'm currently on the Elven Citadel Mindplex Hunger Games map, and we'll take a tour, walk, slash, fly on through, and check out the awesomeness. So off the bat, you can already tell the clouds have been updated. They seem to be much more high res than they previously were. I don't know if they work on a texture system, but they just look much prettier. You can't fly through them anymore. They're actually like above the maximum height that you're able to fly. I didn't actually know there was a maximum height you were able to fly, but I guess maybe that was implemented by the shaders so you can't fly through the clouds anymore. But they don't have any of the artifacting or, or dithering that was there previously, and I, I think they look pretty, pretty pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Three pretties there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. As far as like the, the shadows and the lighting, I'm not noticing any any significant changes there. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there have been some performance tweaks, so on and so forth, but nothing I can really point out. But there is one big change with the rain. So let's turn on some rain and watch the ground. Watch the ground. Watch the ground. Reflections. How cool is that? Look, you can see the uh, the fire pillar over there reflecting in the in the ground. That's pretty cool. Come on, that's pretty cool. Also, it seems like the, the clouds have been upgraded for when it's raining as well, but dude, that's pretty sweet. And then it's, it, it's dry if you actually go into the, the part that's under the dome here. And then we can escape the rain, but then we can watch this. We can just look out. Look out on the rain and the reflective wet ground outside of here. How cool is that? Dude, this is so sweet. And actually, again, it, it runs like really well, even when it's raining and all these reflections are happening. Uh, it, it runs totally fine. And I, I mean, it's totally playable. Well, I mean, you'd probably drop a frame here and there. Like when I was actually playing Hunger Games with the shaders installed, I, I, there was a noticeable difference. But for just cruising around, I mean, it's, it's totally doable. I don't know if the, the reflections are actually true reflections. I think that the clouds at least might be a, a texture map that's just being uh, projected onto the, the ground that sort of follows your character around. Um, I, I know that's the case when you look at the, uh, the sides of the walls, because let's say we go over here, uh, you can see the clouds reflected in the blocks, but it's a little bit rough because you don't really see them sort of uh, zigzag as they go up the, the block steps. So I think that's just a, a texture map being projected on the blocks there, but still it, it does look like a, a reflection and it fades out when you go under the bridge and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Have I said it's pretty cool enough? And then hold on, let's let's toggle the rain off once more. And then we can just watch it stop raining and then the ground will stay a little wet, stay a little wet, and then slowly but surely, after a few seconds, it'll dry off. Hold on, pay attention. Pay attention to the, the spot I'm looking at right there. And it's fading. It's fading. And the ground is drying up. Ground is drying up. We're gonna stop seeing the reflections in a few seconds. Hold on, wait for it, and there they go. There they go, there they go, and the ground is drying up. There we go, and the ground is now dry. Yeah, it happens pretty gradually. It's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And now the map is, is back to the way it was. I'm not sure if there's a, this is a placebo effect, but it sort of seemed earlier that the the lighting like would change depending upon whether or not the sun was behind some clouds i'm not sure if that's actually the case i may just be looking for things that aren't actually there but uh it seemed like when the sun was going behind a, a thick sheet of clouds like that right there what i'm looking at as opposed to being out in the the open blue sky it would change from like a a, a yellowy light from it being out in the open to to more of a, a flat sort of uh white light but again don't don't quote me on that might not actually be the case Anyway, let's turn the rain back on because it's pretty. <laughs> Go over to the another another part of the map with the, the big tree over here that I don't think you're actually able to get to when you're playing. But, uh, you know, dude, I can't wait for this. Plus the, the 3D textures and or the 3D blocks, uh, like the 3D rails and so on and so forth with 1.8. It's just going to be pretty friggin' sweet. Just all the things that you're able to do to to make the game look pretty amazing. Um, yeah, nice, oh, here we go. Just like a, a nice wide look at the rain-soaked map. That's cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, well, I think that about does it for this video. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, um, obviously, link to the shaders in the description as usual. If you want to check them out for yourself, hopefully you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.